creep at the state park, took an interest in my nephew. Never been a Redditor, and never used this sub before, so I apologize if this isn't formatted to what you're used to. After reading some of the posts in here, I think this is probably the place to put it. I'm 34, female, and unmarried, which means I occasionally get the pleasure of watching my niece and nephew while my sister and brother-in-law go on their bi-weekly date nights. This has been going on for the past two months. I previously didn't have much contact with her and her family for one reason or another. But in my efforts to become the cool aunt, I've been trying to get to know my niece and nephew a little better, 8 and 11, respectively. My nephew has been into skateboarding lately, so I got him a new board for no other reason than that. He pestered me to take him to the skate park, to try it out. I told him that was okay, but he had to stay within earshot of me. The reason behind this was because when I was growing up that area was really scummy. It's improved astronomically over the past decade, but what can I say, I have trust issues. I watched him like a hawk while he rode his new skateboard. My niece was sitting next to me playing with a naked-ass Barbie that I bought her, clothed, but at least she wasn't playing with an iPad. I was timing my nephew. I didn't really want to stay more than an hour, but when I saw he was having fun, I periodically extended the time. As the sun was about to go down, I went ahead and called him back over. My niece decided it was time to go to the bathroom. I of course, not knowing how to be an adult around children, told her to wait until we got through 45 minutes of traffic, hit the freeway, and drove 8 more miles to my house. I know, my dumbass did the math and decided it was wrong, so I took her to the public bathroom near the parking lot. My nephew went into the men's room, while I went ahead and took my niece into the ladies' room. The bathroom by itself is enough of a creepy encounter. Gang graffiti, satanic symbols, whole rolls of toilet paper, casually sitting in the toilet bowl, and cracked mirrors. Spoiler, she didn't have to go after seeing the bathroom. I still made her with her hands as if she were rolling around in toxic waste. As her and I exit the bathroom, I see my nephew shooting the shit with an older man. Yes, man. He had moved significantly away from the bathroom, and I had to do a light jog while dragging an eight-year-old by the hand. As I'm trotting with my eight-year-old luggage, I can clearly hear the man say, yeah, I remember your dad. We went to school together. Why don't you give me your number so we can all catch up? Bro. First of all, I was a year ahead of my brother-in-law in school. Don't remember some creepy late forties guy in either of our grades. Second, just what? I couldn't have heard that right. I got between them and told him to get away from my nephew. I also told my nephew that it was time for us to go home and to get in my car. The guy said he was just talking to him. I impolitely told him that if he went near either of them again, his genitalia would be rolling around my purse near my lipstick. I know that sounds harsh, but I don't care. I actually think I underreacted. This man, I swear, actually had the audacity to ask me if I had a teen pregnancy for having kids that age. Then also told me that I looked too pretty to have two kids. He then asked me my name and how old I was. I'm like, okay, you struck out with my nephew, so now you want to take a run at me? I got in the car and stayed put with the engine on to see if I could see what vehicle he was in to grab the license plate. After a few minutes, I just drove off, because I wanted the two kids to be away from the whole thing. I didn't want to frighten them. Through four years in the military, and six years as a sheriff's deputy, I have learned that almost nobody can truly be trusted. The trauma that I've faced in my own lifetime was enough to make me resilient. Hell, I still carry decoy money in my wallet and keep the rest in my bra. I still carry a pistol, and there's almost always a knife on my belt. I told my sister and brother-in-law about the guy, and they filed a police report. In my own opinion, the report didn't seem very thorough. They also said they would have a talk with Mr. Nephew, which I offered to be there for, but apparently my views cannot be articulated correctly for a child, which I guess I understand. Anyways, crisis avoided. I just hope this guy is looked into, and something is done. At least an investigation. At this point, I can only hold out hope. Anyways, I've taken up enough of your time. Sleep well everyone.